Greetings, fellow friends of Louis, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, King of Louisville, Episode 31, Rooftop Rumpus Room. So, picking up where we left off, the recovery continues. I am in too much pain to sleep. Well, lucky for me, I have vegetable stew, and I should probably start slowing down on the vegetable stew, to be honest, um, as I am gaining a, an unhealthy amount of weight. Uh, so I'm going to stop adding like lard to the stew. And then once those painkillers kick in, there we go. It's just stewed cabbage for you, man. No vinegar or spices. It's not kimchi, it's just cabbage. Just wet cabbage. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner of champions. Wet cabbage. Yep. Well, I have neck pain, so the pain that I'm experiencing is hard to determine whether it was the uh, leg or not. But I'll remove the splint, and yeah, it's still fractured. Okay. Well, we know what today is in store. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe start to stew up. So this is a vegetable stew that doesn't have um, that doesn't have lard in it. So I'm gonna switch stews, and that way I am already obese. But that way, like, there's a chance for me not to gain even more weight. I guess. Come on, lard, go in. It 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 has room. I don't know what's going on. I, like, can't move. Oh, it's favorited. I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. GMT, Cheese Radar Deluxe, uh, Italos, and Producer, thank you for the bits and the resub. And welcome. I don't know if my, my drink of choice is... Let's see. It's not too hot. We're good. So what I'm hoping to do is to try to get everything that I could possibly benefit from red. So at this very moment, I believe I was partway through the elect electrical book. Um, but it looks like I am also going to need the cook and I think farming as well. No, no, farming is fully red. So first date is already red. We have electrical and cooking to read. Man, that went from frozen to burning. It seems to have skipped an important stage. And I don't mean bones Einsteinium condensate. Uh, weight is a little up there now. I think one more kilo and I'm like officially uh, overweight. So that wouldn't be good. I go from limping to running encumbered or running slow. One thing I haven't done in a little while is to listen to the radio. It's been raining so much in game. Honestly, just a truly ridiculous amount. So we had a like a thunderstorm and a tropical tro tropical storm, and it just like it just keeps coming down. It is absurd. I'm also gonna switch books because I'm using cooking now, so I might as well get the cooking red. Yeah, I am using an electrical stove. Uh, pretty much, that is, there are barbecue pits that exist. Um, but, uh, the, and which can use propane or coal. But all the stoves in the game, the proper stoves are all electrical, not, not gas. Man, I wonder why my lighting is all wrong today. I'll just, I'll just go red. For being wounded. Mild wind, some clouds, very thick fog. I don't... 
Okay, there we go. Moderate rain. And then this is what I'm really interested in the tomorrow. Oh, clear skies. So it is going to clear up. Good. Okay. Well, like little orphan Annie said, the sun will come out tomorrow. Or saying, maybe. I think she's saying it. One place I haven't come up in a while is up here. Just because I'm limping doesn't mean I can't check on my crops. It takes a lot longer when you're uh, not moving very fast. So the carrots are like getting a little drowned, but they're fine. What's the benefit of uh, reading outside versus inside? If you're cooped up inside, well, I, I guess it first depends on whether you're agoraphobic or claustrophobic. But if you don't have those traits, uh, if you are inside for too long doing reading, you get bored more easily. And being outside is more interesting for the player. Uh, so this has flies. That was the southernmost, I think. I've had to dig up some crops uh, recently that had uh, devil's water fungus. The other worry that I just um, thought of is running out of gasoline, because going on a gas run would be uh, somewhat difficult to do, given the leg injury. Or not difficult, but like certainly dangerous. I might need to also make some more flies cure. I could be running out. All right, let's see. Info. No, it's good. We already cured it with only 10 units. Nice. Okay, the crops are tended to. Time to go downstairs. I might, instead of making stews, I might just start eating, like, cabbage. Uh, so that the... Oh, I'm already overweight. Well then, the damage has been done. Personally, I would rather heal faster than be an appropriate weight, so the hell with it. I don't care that I'm overweight. I'm just going to make healing my priority. So trying to keep a full belly. Would I consider canning uh, while I heal? Um, I could, but I don't have the materials to can. I don't have any mason jars, or I don't believe I have any vinegar, so that won't work for me. But I, I could double check. Something that I could do is to uh, is to sort what's downstairs. So I have sugar that's used for canning. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else? No. Well, like, I don't have anything to can. Check over here. Maybe it was mislabeled or organized. I wish it was easier for me to get more metal shelves. So I have two jar lids. And that might be it. Also, if I was to can anything, it would be crops that I pull right out of the um, farm plots. I would immediately can. I wouldn't consider canning something that's frozen because I don't get the most bang for my buck out of it that way. All right, I'm going to be eating like I'm a bunny rabbit. There's actually one home improvement thing that I wanted to do. 
And it's not too dangerous for me to do, all things considering. So I'm going to get that done. Which is, if you're wondering, smashing some of the walls downstairs. So there's nowhere for zombies to hide. Because I have a lot of blind spots, as you can see. And I'd rather not have the blind spots. I still have yet to wall up the gateway that we lost. Because I had a, you know, a gate that broke and I had a door that broke. Oops. So while I heal, I'll try to just be as productive as possible. Because there's no concept of, like, weight-bearing, I can also get rid of the I-beams, but I, I actually think I like the look, so I'm going to leave them. I wouldn't mind removing the ductwork, though, because the ductwork is kind of distracting a little to me, I think. So I'm doing a little bit of home improvement. Oh, yeah. What is Louis Carpentry at? Five and change? It's what, level seven that things start to look as nice as they look ever look? It worries me that I'm selecting this wall, but it looks like he's bashing the wrong one. Fortunately, that wasn't the case, but it did have me concerned. You hope I don't get snuck up on? Yeah, I hope so too. I did, I mean, just because I'm wounded doesn't mean I can't fight. It means I can't flee. It's also really hard to stay full. These cabbages are going through me. All that high quality fiber. <laughs> so if anyone wanted me to clean up the base, uh, you've, you're, you're seeing it. I am tidying up. Louis doesn't have anything better to do, so he decides to take his, uh, frustration out with a sledgehammer smashing things. Just hope that zombies don't hear me doing it. Why do I have an arcade machine? Uh, cause I wanted one. It's cosmetic. The only things that are really entertaining in this game is radio and TV, and uh, and then the things you can read. No, there's other ways to stay entertained, like uh, killing things. But I mean, you know, come on, camera, white balance better, making me pale as a ghost. I also want to remove the bathroom uh, down there as well, because that bathroom is um, is a place for zombies to hide. Essentially, I'm just removing any sort of physical boundary that would stop me from being able to see zombies m more easily. And I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> Have a cigarette. Actually, uh... 
I'm pretty sure I hear zombies outside. Unless it's my imagination. Oh man, 86? My weight just keeps climbing. Oh, it's gonna be a real problem in it. Why, hello, zombies. I don't see any over here. Off of my second story deck. But I was pretty sure I heard them to the north, which would be a blind spot from that deck. I haven't uh, started the deck on the other side, but even then, uh, if they're to the northeast, it would still be a blind spot. Jeez, dude, how do I keep you full? No matter how many uh, pieces of cabbage I feed him, he's just like, I'm still hungry. I might not try to go for the uh, satiated modifiers. Because I can't keep up with his demand for food. And his weight is uh, out of control. Generators, 76% fuel, so that's no problem. And finally, it has stopped raining. Actually, you know what? Be hungry. I know it, uh, being a little peckish doesn't have any ill effects. As long as I don't become starving. So I'm gonna eat to not starve now. Because I do want the healing bonuses. The plan to cover the old open windows is postponed? Yep. I'm just healing. Just healing and doing other QL things. I don't really need to cover those windows, and the reason is uh, there won't be another helicopter. So I'd be covering the windows mostly just for aesthetics. Which is fine, but maybe not high priority. Oh, I am not experiencing pain. Also, uh, <laughs> what is going on? Uh, let me try to disable the camera and re-enable it. Because it's being weird. There we go. Maybe. We'll see. No, I'm still limping. I think the pain went away because the painkillers kicked in. Definitely still fractured. The amount of water I'm using is surprisingly little compared to what I normally use with Lewis. Huge difference I've noticed. You know, normally I go through like a bottle or two bottles a day. And Louie right now is, I was like one bottle in two days. Such a big difference. Hey, Bixable, thank you for the resub. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And Lilac, thank you for the resub as well. Any plans to move? Nope. What makes you consume more? Um, that would be probably thermal... You know how when I fight zombies, I start to overheat? Um, you drink more water when you overheat like that, so... Just the ex physical exertion is mostly the, the trigger, I believe.
Let's take down that uh, that exit sign. As it is uh, incorrect now. No exit. Although, I didn't mean for it to get darker, but oh well. I can't place it there. Oh, do I not have the elect? No, I have the electronics. There, I'll put it there. So I'm just going to continue to make the bottom floor a little bit safer. And then I'll brainstorm some other projects that Louie can work on safely. Ones that are productive. That's what I'm trying to do. It's despite the injury, remain productive. Hmm. The question is, do I want to... Okay, sorry, drain pipe. Do I want to leave the wall segment that has the light switch? And probably I will, yeah. Oh, is the channel point redemptions not working? No, they're not. All right, let me reboot that. Man, everything is... All technology is failing me today. Right, should be working now, but I'll manually override. Yeah, better leave it so it's brighter. I, I agree. I'm going to leave it. I don't suspect that there will be a case where zombies are like perfectly hidden behind it. That'd be unusual. Uh, well, there's still more HVAC. Uh, Yoda's camera is like frozen. <laughs> he was looking cute. Now he's just laying down. I should have just left him up frozen. See how long it took for people to realize he hadn't blinked. Looks like a dog in need of treats. I agree. All right, I have an idea for a next project. One that uh, Louie can get behind. Let's put the sledge away. Where'd my helmet go? Wait. What just... Oh, there it is. Stai! Thank you for the resub, and yeah, five months already. How time flies. A late nighter tonight? Uh, no, it's, it's planned. I had uh, other stuff that I had to do today. So as a result, stream at this hour instead. Well, now my weight's 88 double ups. 
Jeez. Louie. You are way too big. Luckily, this is a waterproof uh, arcade machine. Fortunately. Who would have thought? You know, all the treadmills I dismantled for experience, I'm now regretting. I could have uh, saved them for his weight loss uh, regiment. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fat king. Definitely a fat king. But this fat king can hold an entire western piano and a pinball machine. And also climb a rope. I think, uh... I think that makes him... The world's strongest man that has ever lived. Easily. go and he still has a leg to heal exactly one strong rope I made it out of a sock it was a very strong sock And funny enough, yeah, that's absolutely a thing, by the way. You can 100% just turn a sock into a rope. It's magic. Still better than finding actual sheets. Yeah, I'm not... Like, actual bed sheets? Kind of like, are mythical. <laughs> I don't know if they exist. So this is the happy nook. This doesn't look like a pool table, Louie. This looks like... What are you... We're, well, what are you doing? I really don't like when the characters just start auto-walking. It freaks me out. Louie... What? Why can't you seem to be able to build a pool table? Oh, there we go. Built it in <laughs> on top of you. And that's how Lou rolls. Well, all right, that's set up. Looks nice. I like it. But wait, there is more. I think actually for the remainder of today, ah, oh, my weight leveled off. How wonderful. Is the coolest rooftop in existence? <laughs> it's kind of nice. A little garden and rain barrels and a pool table and a piano and an arcade and a pinball machine. He knows he knows how to how to party.
Am I limping? I sure am. I'm purposely ignoring my hunger just so that I lose a little bit more weight. Not fully ignoring it, but like mostly ignoring it. While I read uh, some good old Julia Child, or I don't know, I don't know who wrote this cookbook, but it's learning me good. So other than these survivalist skills, the only one I have left to read is electrical. Running out of uh, useful reading. Oh, my cabbage is getting stale. Wait, when did... Uh, I'm just going to throw this cabbage out. I have so much cabbage, I, I'm fine tossing it. Nobody needs stale cabbage. I forgot that there was cabbage nested in my backpack. So, I was thawing out cabbage when I had already had fresh cabbage. Oh, you know what? Instead of throwing it out, well, it's too late. I should have composted it. So at least it could turn into better crops in the future. But again, too late. Have you watched the VHS yet? Uh... Not all of them. I still have uh, some of the... So I'll do that tomorrow morning. That'll be a good way to cheer me up. Also, uh, this was the first night I could get to sleep without uh, painkillers. So things must be healing. Because I've had to take painkillers for the last few nights. But now I only have a minor pain. So that's probably good. I like how I have three fresh cabbage and two fresh cabbage. There we go. Now let's combine. All right, let's check on the leg. Still fractured, but it's healing. So as promised, uh, let's go ahead and watch some of the... Let's watch Mother's Boy. And Z-Squad. Two unusual skill tapes. What was in there? Cook Show 1? Didn't I? I'm going to watch Cook Show 1 uh, just to make sure that there's not any experience left in it. Nope, there was. Well, look at that. Got a little bit more bang for my buck. Since I've only watched Cook Show 1, and I have so many other cook shows, I could super power level my cooking if I wanted to. And, and maybe that's something I'll do after I watch The Mother's Boy and uh, NZ Squad. Alfred Yates, <laughs> the Yates Hotel. Come on, I want to see my uh, skill. Intense violin music. Stabbing noises. Oh, and I learned short blade. Just a little bit of... Reet, reet. A little bit of short blade experience. All of 
four, six. If I was at zero, which I think I was. Again, it is a little bit of experience. It's really not much. It's a novelty at best. All right, so here's Z-Squad. Learned a little mechanics. Barely at any at all, but some. Oh yeah, short blade 17, sorry. I moused over short blade. My short blade went up 17 points. And there was E Squad. Alright, so having watched those, let's go ahead and uh, plow through the cooking tapes. And then if we get through the cooking tapes and read the books and all that, uh, I will start to do the survival skills. So, the next cookbook will be four. Might as well make this a uh, time of self-improvement. Okay. Cooking five secure. Time to go over. I, I should bring all the tapes with me. Book show two. So I'm missing three and I'm missing... Is there an eight? Let's see. No, I'm just missing three. So if I find three at a later date, that will be another little boost of XP, I guess. So here's four. And there's a lot of diminishing returns when you get high level, so I'm going to go through most of these tapes without having to read another book. Uh, I'm pretty sure I hit play. There we go. Five. Six. And seven. I'm not going to time accelerate through this one. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to level up from this. Nope. All right. All tapes have been watched. And I am almost level six. Sort of. But not bad. Again, all in the name of self-improvement. So if we take a look at the info for training materials, if we check VHS, you can see what I've watched. So all of Carzone, uh, Mother's Boy, Cook Show All But Stews, which is ironic considering that's how I gained the weight I gained. Uh, but none of the, all the Woodcraft, Z Squad, but none of the Survival. So that might be after I, I finish reading my books, I might do. I could watch Survival 3, which would be farming. Because um, I have read that already. But I'll probably want to read all the related books. I'll put the cookbook back because I'm not. I haven't leveled yet.
Can you make a baseball bat with spikes? Yes. Baseball bats with spikes are long blunt. They do shred clothing, uh, but they're they're pretty strong weapons in terms of damage. They're terrible for durability, but since uh, in Louisville, we can get the Louisville Slugger Factory, uh, baseball bats are very plentiful. So it has that going for it. I feel like uh, Louis is also getting a little quicker on his feet. He seems to be limping, but like moving quicker. Let's check upon all the plants. There's only living friends in the world now. Potatoes are blooming, so they'll be uh, seeding soon. Carrots are still young. No diseases so far. Healthy plants. So this is as fast as I can hobble. Figure while I'm up here, it might not be a bad idea to top up the Jenny. So it's at 100% fuel, 73% condition. Odd that that gas can, all the remaining gasoline in it, was exactly how much I needed to top up the generator. Seems a bit too convenient if you ask me. As if he just like, you know, spilled a whole bunch and was like, oh, I guess it's empty now. So what I think I'm going to do is to start reading the survival books. I don't think it would be a terrible idea for me to, I don't know, just know them. Do trapping first. What can you do with worms? Uh, you can fish with them. Come on, Louis. Heal. Is it the same as maggots? Uh, I don't even know. Maggots are new. I haven't, uh, haven't messed around with them. I can't believe my weight's been stable for this many days already. Yeah, everything else is red. So there's trapping. This, by the way, is not something I would suggest uh, fresh spawn people to do. Don't bother reading books. You're not going to use the, uh, the experience from. Because there's no point in knowing how to trap if you're going to live for like three days. Trapping is one of those things you need when you live for... Months, not days. Now let's go with foraging and then fishing.
Louis, have you found, have you discovered the way to eat just cabbage and not lose weight? Is this your uh, magic power? His superpower is homeostasis via, via cabbage. <laughs> that makes me sad. I want to be losing weight so bad right now. Come on, you can finish it. There we go. It's probably all the pounds of lard he ate. Well, he hasn't had lard in like four days now, but he hasn't lost any weight either. So while I acknowledge that the lard was... The lard and butter and other things are the primary reason he gained all that weight... Uh, he's only eaten cabbage for like days now, but he's still, uh, he's still a big boy. It's all his lard reserves. Yeah, that's it. Just the backup lard that he keeps in his larder. Have I heard about the new update a few days ago? Nope, I have not. Check up on the, uh, the crops again. Oh, this one is ill. It has flies. So that's the third strawberry. Let's fix that. I don't have enough insecticide spray. Uh, I guess I'll pour this on the ground and make new insecticide spray. I don't have units of water. Uh, excuse me, but you're next to a rain barrel. So... Fine. Are you good now? There we go. Make fly secure. Silly Billy. Up, oh, he's letting other cabbage get stale. All right, that is cured. Let's keep going. They're all pretty well watered, so I'm not going to bother watering them again. And we've got mildew. Okay, that's cured too. At some point, I probably should start a radish plot. It's the only crop that uh, I don't have represented here of the vanilla PZ crops.
Weight still stable at 88. Still with a limp. Does anyone know what day the fracture happened? I'm curious how many days it has been since, as that gives me an indicator of when I will heal, but I haven't. I forgot when that happened. I'm also quite surprised that Louis has not gotten, like, insanely bored of eating raw cabbage over and over. Props to Louis for being ascetic. I guess. Oh! That's cool. Watching the, uh, the carrots go ready for harvest, like, right in front of me. I'm gonna wait until they're seeding. That was, that was neat. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 23rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie survivors.